Hi, hello. Uh, in this video, I will try to show you our working association, and uh, which are the new object in ITSM9. And it's a powerful new object, and I will try to show you how it's working with uh, archiving, um, and then a little demo of uh, REST APIs. It will be a very short demo for REST APIs because there are some amazing videos on the wiki, and the link will be in the document, and you should watch those videos if you want more details about REST APIs. So let's start by um, the business case. Uh, the business case is that um, I will be trying to replicate the BMC community architecture in uh, ITSM in IRS. So that means that I've got several formulas, regular forms. So it's a uh, square, uh, rectangle things. So for example, a community family. Uh, then I got a community. Then I got a thread and post. So for example, in community family, you have got like a um, BMC Atrium. Uh, a community inside BMC Atrium could be our system, CMDB, ADDM. A thread, well, it's a discussion in a BMC community. So the thread can belong to IRS, our system, for example. And <coughs> post, of course, belong to a thread. For example, if someone asks a question about what is a CI, and there are a lot of people answering, so what is a CI? So, um, then you've got moderators. Moderators for me are belonging to a family. So for example, there are moderators uh, for the family uh, BMC Atrium. And then of course, uh, the new feature is that you've got association between each of the forms. So for example, between the community family and the community, uh, you've got an association one to n, also one to many, meaning that uh, inside uh, uh, community family, you can have several communities. So, for example, uh, for BNC Atrium, you can have our system, like I said, CMDB, ADDM, and so on. Uh, the key between both of them will be the community family uh, grid. Uh, it's a unique uh, key that is uh, generated when the community family is created and which is uh, uh, saved into the community. And this is the key that will link. Uh, the community family to the community. So same thing from the community to a thread. You have one too many because you can, be, uh, you can have several threads into one community. The key this time will be the community grid. Uh, and then the same thing from the thread to the post. As there are one too many, as there, are, there can be several posts into one thread and the key this time will be the thread grid. Um, then the same thing from the community family to the moderators and the key uh, is also the community family grid. So first of all, if you want some more information about association, you should check the doc wiki. Uh, so basically, what is an association? It's a new object into um, ITSM, into IRS. Uh, you can declare uh, pretty much like uh, you were declaring, I don't know, an active link or a filter, for example, an association between the forms. So I will try to show you that. So now you get uh, a new object type association that I already opened. And for example, let's say, um, so here for example, I got my formula uh, community family. And then I got my form uh, family moderators. So you can see that uh, on the community family, I've got my the name. Uh, here I got the grid for the community family. And then on the community family moderators, I got uh, the community family. But it's not very interesting for me. Uh, I got the moderator name in here. I got also the grid community family. And in association, uh, what happens is that, for example, here I create an association between the family and the moderator. And it's pretty obvious. Uh, it's, uh, you just say that uh, it's enabled one to many uh, between the form community family and the form community family moderators. So here yeah, is just a uh, description. And then you say, okay, what is the mapping between the two forms? So in my case, it is uh, the field uh, CH grid, uh, which is uh, this one. And the field uh, CH grid uh, C, which is the same field actually, but on this form. So what does it mean? What it means is that when I create, uh, when I uh, declare 
moderator for one family. So I have to take the grid for this community family and insert the data into uh, the record from the moderator. It's not something automatic, you have to do it yourself. Uh, I use, I'm using a grid, I could have used the request ID or something, it's just a grid is a... Uh, whatever. I'm using a grid. You just have to, I could have used the name, the uh, community family name for example. Well, it's um, pretty much as you want. But if you change the name, you would have to change the, uh, the child, the children, and so on. So, um, so you have got the same thing, for example, for the community. You also find uh, the grid uh, community, and you have got uh, this time the grid community is a grid from the community itself, and you find back the grid community family this time because this is a grid from the parent, basically. And then in the thread. Uh, you can see that uh, it's ugly, but you can find the grid community, which is a parent. I have greedy of the thread, and in the post, I can find the grid from the thread, so that means the parent. So, what you have to understand is that when you declare um, an association, um, you can choose not to enforce it or to enforce it. If you enforce, if I enforce this uh, this um, association, that means that, for example, if I'm trying to create uh, a moderator with a grid uh, that doesn't exist, for example, in the in the parent in the community family, it will trigger an error. The IRS engine will try to see if the grid exists, and if it's not existing, it will trigger an error. Here, it's not enforced, meaning that I can enter whatever data I want. It won't trigger an error. If you enforce it, uh, you have an impact on the performances because the engine is doing the check. But if you enforce it, that means that if you delete a parent, it will delete also the children. Meaning that, for example, if I delete a community family, it will delete automatically the moderator if the association is enforced. So, once you um, create an association, you can use it in uh, several ways. Basically, right now, the two uh, big uh, use of association are archiving and REST API. So, I will try to show you first uh, how you can use it for archiving. So, if we go back uh, to the schematic, which disappeared. Okay. So, uh, you can see that for each form, I have got another one uh, below, uh, which is actually the archive form. So for each formula, you have got an archive form. So the idea is that um, I decided to have two scenarios, meaning I want that, for example, uh, I want to archive a thread. For example, I don't know, it's a moderation, it's a spam, it's someone I don't like. Uh, and I, I, I say that uh, when I want to flag this thread, I want that automatically this thread and the post are archived. In 7604 or a. Uh, something, the previous version basically, uh, if you wanted to do that, that would mean that of course you would have to create an archive form, but also when you select the thread uh, to detect uh, the children, to flag them, and then to have two archive rules to want to archive the thread, for example, do you change the status from OK to I want to delete it, and same thing for the post, meaning that uh, when you flag a thread to delete, you have to uh, find the children from this thread in post and flag them to delete, and uh, the archive policy on thread on the thread form will uh, archive the thread and then the archive policy on post will archive the post into the archive form. So in ITSM 9, the good thing is that you can rely on association, and when you say, okay, I want to archive the thread, automatically, if there is an association, and you say that you want to follow it, uh, when you archive the parent, it will archive automatically the children. So what I want in this scenario is that when I say I want to archive the thread, I want to archive also the post that belongs to the thread in one 
uh, in one go. And then I, I have another rule, meaning that, for example, when I create a new community family, uh, I don't know, for example, uh, something for a beta program, and I want to archive it, I want to flag it at the community family uh, level. I want to say, okay, this family, for example, BMC, IRS, ITSM9, beta, I want to archive it. So when I flag it here, I want that automatically all the children be archived uh, in the archive form. Meaning that automatically, uh, for example, I say, okay, uh, I set the status to archive. Using the association, uh, it will uh, understand that uh, the archive will ripple through all the association, meaning that uh, IRS will find that there is an association between the community family and the communities. It will say, okay, he wants to archive a community family, how many communities are impacted? And then in these communities, how many threads are impacted? And in these threads, how many posts are impacted? And this automatically, you don't have to, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to, for example, flag the communities, then flag the thread, then flag the post, and then each of them will be archived. You don't have to do that. You just have to say, okay, I want to archive the community family, and automatically everything, every children will be archived. So, in order to do that, um, you just have to do one thing. Well, a couple of things. First of all, you have got, of course, to declare uh, pretty much like uh, in previous version. You have to declare a new form uh, that uh, you want to archive it. So in my case I want to copy it to archive and delete from source. So it will delete the record from community family and uh, copy them to archive. Uh, give an archive form. And then here it's important for me, I want to include this one, the community family, into archive policy. Because if you remember, uh, I got two uh, policies. One, uh, when I want to uh, archive the community family, from the community family. Another, another one, when I want to archive from the threads. Uh, so, I want to archive, I want to input it in archive policy. When you click on archive policy, what does it, what, what it means is that basically you will find it into the archive manager, into the our system archive manager console which is new in ITSM9 so I can you can find it in uh, so yeah I got archive community and archiving threads so here it's basically the name so uh, when you click on include an archive policy you have got to say to give a qualification in my case uh, it will archive uh, when its status is to archive by default it's okay and then you can just give a description. So this is the first step. The second step is um, to select the association to follow for the archive. Automatically, uh, when you create an association, so like I explained, I created association between the community family and the community, one between the community and the thread, one between the thread and the post, and one between the community family and the moderators. Automatically, um, Developer Studio will detect it, because I'm on community family. So I've got two relations, two association. I got one between the community family and the communities, and one between the community family and the moderators. So as you can see, Developer Studio found those two associations family to moderator and family to community. And then I say, okay, when, I, when I'm archiving uh, this formula, so here it's a status to archive, I want you to follow uh, those two associations, meaning that I want you to follow both association, community family to community, and community family to moderator. This is the first step. Then on the community itself, on the community uh, formula itself, you can see that on the archive, uh, it will be a bit different. On the archive, I got a copy and delete from source. It's still enabled. I got still an archive to form, but this time it's not included in archive policy. So I don't put a qualification or number of days, for example. And on the association to follow to archive, I just say, okay, I want to follow everything. So I cannot trigger it 
uh, from the archive manager console as you can see but I just say okay uh, it's archived and uh, just uh, trigger it when it's necessary so for example here that means that automatically uh, when the parent uh, will be uh, archived it will be archived also automatically using the association that is declared here in the parent then as you can see here I selected all and this time I got an association between the community and the thread because I declared in IRS an association between the community and the thread so somehow the parent is a child from community family but also a parent for thread so automatically IRS system uh, when we have one twins uh, to uh, archive from uh, community family it will archive community and then it says oh okay I got another association between the community and the thread so it goes to the thread and in the thread uh, same thing uh, pretty much so uh, it's archive enable in archive form and this time it's also included in archive policy because if you remember uh, I want to have I want to have the possibility to only for example archive the thread and not from the community family and archive everything but thread and archive from thread so thread and post so this time it's included in archive policy and in association to follow for archive I just put all because there is an association between the thread and the post and in the post at least uh, you can see that you have got still an archive form no it's not included in archive policy and in association to follow for archive since it's at the end of the, of the stack there is no association it's not a parent I just say okay follow parent so what does it mean is that uh, automatically when I want to include uh, to archive from a community family it will uh, ripple through all association so first of all this association to community and the association to community uh, to moderator then from community it will check and see that there is an association so it will go to thread and thread there is an association it will go to post so let's see an example of what happens uh, so for example here I've got uh, two communities two family of communities I got BMC Atrium which has two communities our system and CMDB uh, for our system I got a list of threads and for CMDB I got one thread what is a CI So it's very ugly but it's just to you know like it's a thread and here I got two posts right now so uh, I've got uh, several threads for my system I got 13 for my system I got one for CNDB and for the community family ITSM I've got two communities I got incident management and problem management so in incident management I got two threads and in problem management I got only one so uh, what is the idea? I want to uh, first of all uh, show you how it's working so in the archive manager console uh, you can see that uh, so it's accessible from um, our system administration so I can find in the manager console my two policies archive policies you can see also that in the log uh, files you have got a new log file for archive so you can uh, specifically log for it and I can trigger manually uh, each of each one of the policies so for example I can trigger the archiving community or archive friends so what I will do is that for example we say okay I want to uh, this one I don't like this one I don't like this thread so I will open it I will set it to delete and that means that it should be archived when I click on yeah, save so it will not be uh, immediate instant but 
I want it to be archived. So we'll launch the log. I will say okay I want to delete it. So now it's set as to delete because it's moderation, I don't like it. Mm. Nice red. And then what I can do is that I can say okay I want to launch the archive policy right now. So I'm launching it. It's saying that it worked okay. If I go to the log file, uh, archive, log file, so you can see that um, it's saying that it's archiving on uh, the thread form. Automatically it will try to um, archive also post because it found, it found that there is an association between the thread and the post. It will try to archive one entry for the post, one entry for the thread, and it's completed with one entry to the post and one entry to the thread. So now when I refresh from the console I can see that it disappeared in incident management. So if I go to the archive form, this one is the archive form. So here I don't have anything because there is no community family uh, archive. Uh, but for example, let's say I go uh, with develop with uh, our user uh, to the thread. You can see that in this one, so it's an archive form, I can find my thread. So the thread is archived. The thread is archived and you can see my post is also archived. With, uh, in uh, what is the thread there? If I go to the post. So here it's an archive form for the post. You can see that uh, you can see several things. So you have got the text for the post, and you have also the attachment that were on the post. So it archived everything basically. So it's uh, so in one pass it archived the threads and it archived the post. So this time it's working okay. But let's say that uh, okay I want to archive now ITSM. I say okay it's ready, I want to archive it because maybe I move the threads, maybe it's uh, outdated, I don't know, whatever. I want to archive it. So this time I will do this scenario where I say okay I want to archive it here at the community here uh, family and I want to archive everything. So all the communities, the threads, the posts and the moderator. That means in my case if I set it to archive, I want to archive the two moderators that are here, uh, those two communities, and the thread that depends, the thread and the pod that depends from these communities, but not the uh, community family Atrium, our system of CMDB, and the thread that depend from it. So I just say, okay, I want to uh, export it. Uh, before that, I will reset the logs. And I just say, okay, I want to archive it, I say. So here the status is to archive. I go back to the archive manager console. I say, okay, this time I want to launch a policy for the archiving community. It's okay. So I'm loading again the uh, log file. And this time you can see a lot of things. So the start form is the community family. Then you can see it goes from it goes from community family moderators. Then it goes to community because it's member from community family. Then thread because it's member from community family. Then post because it's member from community family. So as you can see automatically what it did is that it say is directly it saw that uh, I wanted to archive this form, but he had association with community, community had association with thread, and thread had association with post, and community family had association with moderators. I didn't have to do anything. <clears throat> so at the end of the day, uh, it's telling me that it will try to archive uh, for family moderators, for two family moderators, uh, for two communities, for two threads, for three posts, and at the end of the day, he archived just that. So here, uh, when I go back here, so you can see I got two moderators. I got here for incident management one thread. And if I refresh, that here my TSM disappeared. 
Yeah, on Itrium, I still have my threads and my post, so it's okay. But everything that was archived disappeared. So if I go back to the archive form, the archive version of the form, so archive uh, com community, you can see I find my uh, BMC Remedy ITSM. I can find my incident and program management in their, in their own uh, archive form. I can find the two moderators in the archive form of the moderators. Uh, um, so the two moderators, and here for each of them, so here I got one, I got two threads for the incident and one thread for the problem. So I can find my thread. So you can see it's working properly, meaning that uh, everything is uh, everything of that it's an uh, archive like arc form. So everything is an archive form. So I had to I had, I had to go to the um, into Developer Studio and change, of course, in the archive form. For example, the community family. I had to change uh, the table in the table uh, the form name because by default, of course, it's using it's uh, copying the form name from the community family, which is LMA com community. So to display to, to, to display user links and everything, I had to change the qualification. But basically, what you have to understand is that uh, now everything uh, is stored. Everything that is archived is stored into the arc com forms. So as you can see, it's very easy to uh, to trigger the the archiving feature. And you can have several levels, even if there are associations from that are crossing somewhere. So here, for example, you can see I got a could trigger from community family, so everything, or from the thread level. You don't have to do like only one archive policy. You can have several of them. You just have to be careful when you create the association between each of the form. And the association is not an association or relation at database level. It's really an association only on IRS level. So it's not relying on the database level. So it's pretty cool. And another nice feature is that, for example, let's say, okay, I'm here archiving threads. I have an export feature. Um, so I can export or delete and uh, export. So I want just to export the data. So I click on export. And when you do that, uh, it will uh, create a folder into IRS DB. And inside of it, you will have uh, all your formula that are archived. So you can find your formula arc com community, for example. Um, in my case, I'm interested in this one. So you can find your records that are, that are archived. And in the subfolder, you can find the attachment that were in the records. So you can pretty much very easily, for example, let's say you want to purge very easily the data, but you want a copy of the data. Uh, you can just click on export, like uh, export and delete or delete. You just export everything or within an age, in days, and you export the data. It's pretty cool. Um, let's see if you change. No, that's right. So the archiving is working on the around the clock. That meaning so that uh, if I come back uh, uh, in a couple of minutes, there should be more lines here for the others, uh, the other archive policies, not only the ones that are here. Uh, okay, I'm still on. So, so this was the association and archiving feature. There is another uh, use of association. Um, it's using REST API. So REST APIs are um, well, it's uh, like SOP, but REST API. So protocol. Let's say it's a way you are asking for data, and uh, it comes back into the JSON format. 
basically. It's very used. Uh, it's uh, it's much easier to get data from REST APIs using REST APIs and SOP. A lot easier. You don't have a WSD or something. You don't have to register or something. I don't know. Um, a WSDL or something, it's very easy. It's basically you can it's CRUD, meaning that you can create a date delayed uh, data. It's pretty much like APIs, meaning that uh, using the REST APIs, you can create, uh, you can query. For example, uh, all the incidents, uh, all the work and for, you can give it a qualification, uh, you can create an entry, you can update an entry. And the cool thing is that you don't, it's uh, working for all the forms in the RS system. You don't have to publish uh, a WSD or something. It's working with all the forms out of the box, pretty much like you would be doing uh, using Java API. So, um, we'll do a quick demo on it. So, very quick demo. So, for that, I will be using uh, Postman. Um, and uh, so the first thing to understand is that you need to the first step is to log in so you can access it using java or whatever it's just url so for example it's uh, so you can access rest apis using a jt server that is uh, with rs server and the first step is to call a login so you give your username and password it will answer giving you a token uh, that will be used for all the other calls you don't have to give you back your username and password at each call, each API call. You just have to give the token. The token is uh, working for I don't know much time. Anyway, so in my case, I will just save it uh, using Postman into a variable. Yeah, it's done. And okay, let's say I want to access the community family uh, formula. So here, if you remember, the formula name is LMA.com community family. If you want to access the entries for this uh, formula, you just have to say, OK, I want to access entry, the formula name. And then, for example, in parameter, you give the, the fields you are interested with. So this is the URL parameter, fields and the fields you are interested in. The headers, you have to give the authorization and uh, RGWT with the token. So here it's my variable with the token. I can, you can put like a, this and the token. You want. Uh, then it's pretty much okay. So let's say I say send. So it's a get operation because I want to get information. And as a result, I got um, an array in JSON array. Here's a list of the communities I have, community family. And right now I have only, C only BMC Atrium. And with a new array I can, f I can follow. So here it's not working because I don't have uh, the header. So here the header is. So let's see if I need, I need it around. Okay. Wow. Okay, so with the header it's working better. So here, for example, I can I follow the record one for the community family. So here it's a request ID, and the request ID is BMC Atrium. So here I've got all the community families for the for this form, with only the fields community family. If I remove this, for example. I say same. I got all the forms, all the fields in the form. So it's working pretty much like uh, like Java API. So it's very easy to parse it using JavaScript and so on. So uh, the cool thing as with association is that let's say I want to have the families and the communities depending from this family. So in my case, if I want to do this before, in uh, for example, using Java API, for example, if I wanted to have in one pass, in one call, the communities from the community family, my only solution was to create a joint form between the community family and the community. Or to do two API calls to get, first of all, the community family and then an API call 
another API call to get the communities using the family uh, GUID in my case. So the good thing with association uh, is that in one pass, so here I'm saying okay, uh, the parent is a community family, I want to uh, follow the association name LMA com family community, which is uh, uh, the name of the association between the community family and the community. So just have to copy the name. So here I'm saying like the field I want only the community family. And when you launch it, you can see that it gives you the community family BMC Atrium and embodied all the communities depending from this community family. So for example here I have IR system with the parent BMC Atrium and I have a CMDB depending on BMC Atrium. And you can do the same thing from the community and the thread. So you, the parent is the community and you follow the association community and thread. So for the community uh, system, I have the threads, I have several threads, I got, uh, or you can use an active link. And, and you got a lot of threads. But basically the good thing is that in one pass it will give you everything. So here for CMDB I got only one I think, it's what is a CI. So in one pass it will give you the parent and the child and the children depending on the parent. So it's quite a cool thing. So if you want more detail about uh, REST API, like I said, uh, please check the videos on the BMC website because it's very cool. Here it's a formula I made so you can get uh, here association. And then here you get two operations which are post and put. So post it will create, uh, here for example in the form LMA alert, it will create this request. And in the, um, so you got a 201 HTTP request answer saying that it's created and the header you have the URL to the record you just created. Put, you insert, you update the data. So this one is updated. So no content means uh, it's okay, it's successful, it's updated. So you can do a lot of things using Java API, uh, using a REST API, sorry. And um, it's very cool because you can use it on uh, Java, in a Java program, you can use it into JavaScript, call it Ming from JavaScript. So it's quite fast, it's working quite well, and it's uh, you don't have to publish anything, and it's, uh, it's quite cool. So um, here is the end of the demo, uh, basically. Um, I hope it shows you that uh, it's a very cool feature, I mean, uh, association with archiving and the uh, REST APIs. Okay, it didn't move. Didn't move. Okay, well, that's all for now. Have a nice day.